Hi there! These are some of the papers that I've worked on for a little bit and experimented and played and had tons of fun making them. And I'm going to show you how I did them. They're really easy and you just need some house or home um, materials you already have for cooking. And um, I hope this helps you get creative and experiment and explore new things you want to do with your papers and with your mixed media and in your art journals or your journals or your junk journals or just because you want to create something different and spend some time getting your um, hands dirty and messy and these are also safe for your kids I don't know how old your kids are or how they are but um, I play with my kids a lot with this just be really careful and stay with them never leave them alone so let's start so to start we're gonna have some um, lemon juice poured into like a little copper container this one is a food coloring that we use here in Spain for paellas and soup and stuff like that and this is some black ink I'm gonna put the, um, the list of materials down in the description below and now we just have um, some regular water and coffee the lemon juice might be weird to some of you but if you press the lemon juice with an iron after it's been dried it changes color it actually goes kind of like darker like invisible ink going back to your kids ears so I'll share um, maybe before this one there's a video already up about the lemon juice but um, I'm not sure yet <laughs> so now I just wetted my paper with some water um, down instant coffee and I just needed something for the paper to stick to them uh, baking sheet this way it won't move as much even though the baking sheet is moving the paper will not move as much but um, it will have color in both sides also so I just put some of the coloring down and also some of the ink and again some lemon juice um, you don't need to use the lemon juice if you don't want to but um, I really like experimenting with it and some of my subscribers said that the acidity actually helps with the coffee um, I don't have any scientific proof of that or anything at the moment so I'll, I guess I'll look into it but um, yeah now I just mix them all up and added some of the instant coffee on top of it so that it will melt and dissolve on its own and I added some salt. Notice that the salt has some pink bigger pieces of salt in it. Um, they're different, they give different appearances and the thicker one sticks to your paper more. So if you don't want the thicker one you don't need to use that one but definitely the fine salt gives it a little touch and a little bit of um, uniqueness to the paper um so now i really got really 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 wet in that paper and it's wet and yummy and i added a bunch of salt i mean the salt it's going to be removed afterwards when they're dry and then i added some more instant coffee and i kept playing with this putting one paper on top of the other so that both sides of the paper will be um, usable in case you want to put this inside your junk journals and many of you ask me if you can write on top of this yes you can but the only um, problem that I see or that I run into I love the smell of coffee this smell is gonna go away after a while if you don't like it but um, notice how that reacted really pretty with the paper I'm sorry that lemon just reacted really nicely so anyways, um, it, the only problem that I notice is when I have a thick, like really thick um, layer of coffee in there, it gets shiny and sticky when it dries. So I normally wouldn't care, but if you're putting it in a journal, then it will stick to your other pages. And for that you just have to sand it a little bit I am going to do that in this video and show you how I did it and what sand uh, paper I use so stay um, like towards the end of the video so you can see that but you can see that I'm stacking the papers you don't need to do this if you have a space 
I'm in Spain and it's really cold in Madrid at the moment and I really don't want to get my hands wet outside where it's like really cold. <laughs> so now it's snowing but it's cold and windy sometimes. So I just do it inside my house and then go out and lay them down in the sun. And I'm also going to show you that in this video. So if you want to see my whole process, this video is going to show it to you. It's just going to be a little bit longer than my usual videos are. But if you answer some of your questions, you know, feel free to stay. And I might do a Q&A soon. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the, in the comment below. Or go to Mix It Up Marcy on Instagram. And I'm going to have um, a little entry there so that you can put your questions there and then I can do a video and answer all of the questions you might have about my videos or coffee paper or clay or anything like that that you've seen on my channel that I haven't fully explained. So having said that, I went wild with the food coloring and the yellow and I really like this kind of exploring with the um, the yellow being the first layer because it kind of turns into a greenish color mixed with the coffee and the ink and the coffee um powder so I, you know experimenting look at this i'm just getting all the extra and putting it around and just experimenting and moving what i already have in the paper around and look how pretty it looks anyways I know that some of you are like constantly um, asking me to make more videos and about coffee and journaling and all that. They are coming. It's just that we've been in such a bad, um, oh my goodness, health stuff going on with the five of us at home and things happening that I haven't had the chance to film. Like, I mean, I still use my journal to, oh, look at that. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Sorry. My, I still use my art journal whenever I can during the night and stuff like that. And it, it just, I can't film at all, so I'll share some of my journal. Look look at the left and the right, how that white spots showed up. That's a reaction of the lemon juice, the acidity in the lemon juice. So I don't know what you think, but I think that's unique and pretty. Anyways, um, if you'd like me to share more about my art journal or give you a little flip through, like through it and see what I experiment with and stuff, also let me know. Like, this is the video for you to let me know <laughs> what you would like me to answer and what you'd like to see more of. Um, the thing is that I have so many ideas and so many things I do and and so much experimenting and, and you know, just playing with things and then I discover things and I want to share them with you, but I can't do it all like my three kids and the videos and everything. So I am uploading as I go, I guess, or I, as many times as I can. I'm gonna try to make it regular, like once a week. And um, if I can do it, then I'll have some Instagram content for you. But um, sorry and be patient. <laughs> it's only me. Editing and filming and doing all that, but um, here I poured a lot of that coffee in there, and I'm just putting it back in the cup. And I'm aware that this coffee now it's contaminated with um, the lemon juice and also some of that ink. From, I mean, yeah, some of the ink and some of the food coloring, and it's not like pure coffee anymore. But I'm still using it. It's not going to waste and I'm still trying to get it to the point that all my papers are going to be good or fun for me to use. And also, the fact that I'm stacking the papers um, makes the coffee stick from one side to the other once it's dry. It won't stick like horribly that you won't be able to unstick it. 
at least it hasn't happened to me but I take them outside and I let them dry in the sun for like days but again it's really cold so I'm not leaving them in the sun one on top of the other I'm laying them down in the faux um, grass that we have outside it's like a carpet a green carpet so that the kids can play in you know whenever the temperature is good out but it's not a very big space so I'm just putting them down and trying to let them get dry in the sunlight um, it took from one day to the other for me to be able to actually work with these papers because it was really cold but um, once you get the hang of doing this and you get good at it, you can do this really quickly. Some people ask me if they can dry them in the oven, and yes, you can, but be aware that the coffee is going to cook if you have a big amount of it on your, um, like the coffee, that kind of coffee, and it's going to turn blackish and burn. It's not going to be a pretty look. So naturally dry when you have some extra coffee on top of it um, it's best now you do have to add some extra um, rice and some extra salt on top of your papers while they're out like after you de-stack them because they're gonna lose some of that and that's okay that doesn't mean that what you added before was for nothing it still works and they still look pretty and you can see some of the rice there are just on top of it and they need more of a wetness to them or they need something to keep them you know absorbing the the humidity in the in the paper so for some of them I do put some cling wrap on top and these will live really nice mark on them and for others I just re-wet them a little bit with some coffee or ink or whatever your choice is you can even use water and spray them a little bit um, you can also use um, vinegar to spray them, but I don't, um, I'd rather do the lemon juice and spritz them with that or just touch them up with my brush like I'm doing here and just reactivating and re-wetting that coffee and making it all like mixed together. Some of that, it's going to stick to your paper and... <laughs> Then you just let them dry and unstick them when they're um, dry enough. So here's my doggy taking the sun. and He's so cute, Maxie. You might have seen them in other videos. But going back to the papers, <laughs> once they're dry, you're just going to have to scratch at them and unstick all the little rice and stuff. I do this with a paper towel. Sometimes I do have to use my finger or my fingernails. But... You get the bigger chunks, and here's the sticky part that I told you about. Um, you just have to sand it with the finest sand paper you have. I get these at the equivalent to the dollar store here in Madrid. And you just get that stick enough up, like you rough it off, and it's not sticky anymore. At least not as tacky as when you didn't sand it. So... It, if it's still shiny, you can tell that it might be a little bit sticky, but you can just keep working on that and it will be fantastically fine. Now, you remove some of that clean wrap and this is the texture that you get underneath. Then I'm just removing the salt and trying to sand a little bit away. I still want some really white contrast um, spots on my paper. And if if you know what um, amount of salt you want in there or what kind of look you want, go for it. I like the grungy kind of, you know, roughness on my papers. And sometimes I, I even like the fact that they rip a little, you know, in the middle or here or there. This is a similar look of what you will normally get when you do the um, eco-dyeing, like these are some of the colors just achieved in a different way. Here you can see the little, how I'm taking that away, like the shininess of them. Again, I don't mind the shininess in this ones because I don't think I'm going to use these papers in a journal, but I do like my options. That's why I like them to be um, double-sided per se. Um, 
because if I want to use some of them in the journal then I will and if I want to use some of the other ones in my art projects for my art journal or something that I want to create to put into a frame or a canvas then I can do any of that. These are so pretty, I can't get over the cling wrap. And you can also do salt underneath the cling wrap and you'll get a different look. I even leave some um, extra rice in there and then just send it over, but look how pretty that looks. It's like magical. And you can also do this in your art journals. You just have to, you know, not close them um, if you're like the sketchbook type but um, you can also close them and they just take a little bit longer to dry. Now, by removing some of the rice, again, some of the paper, it's going to rip sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Just keep getting your surface clean. And this is what you get for the um, rice imprinting on your paper. You can see I still have two little pieces of rice in there. But um, just keep, cleaning them and getting rid of the extra bumpy pieces because later we're gonna have to iron some of our papers and the iron is not a necessary step I actually do like the when you touch the papers and it sounds and it crinkles like that I love that the thing is that if you want this uh, papers to be scanned then you need to iron them a little bit so that they'll be flatter in the scanner and they won't have as much warpiness to them. Or if you want to do a collage with them, you know, like at Mod Podge and all of that, the flatter they are, the better they are. So I will recommend to iron them after you do everything. And this will also reveal some marks from the lemon juice. Um, onto your paper so you'll get new not designs but new kind of patterns on them and um, new colors now I have a big chunk of salt in this one and now I just have too much on that um, baking sheet or baking paper or whatever so remove it clean it and try to clean your surface so that <laughs> look at that that's too pretty I'm sorry I get distracted <laughs> So that, look at the chunk of salt. Oh, that's amazing. And it's not 3D at all. It's just, you know, flat. It looks like that, but it's, it's just flat. It's lovely. Just remove all the salt if you want to write on this paper. I forgot what I was saying before. So, for those of you who ask me if you can write on this paper, yes, you can. I use my... Micron Pigmap pens just because I like oh look at this salt just because I like how they do not get activated with water like they're water and um, resistant or is it resistant yeah so they don't get like mushy with water ah, that's beautiful you guys some of you tell me, you're a genius, you're, you, these papers are amazing. And I'm not a genius, and yes, these papers are amazing, but they're amazing because I give myself permission to experiment and not to judge um, what I'm doing. And if it comes out great, fantastic. And if it doesn't, hey, I learned something, so fantastic again, you know? And perfection, it's, it's not something that I go for, the fun it's in the process and in discovering new things and what if I do this and what if I do that and what if I just let myself lose and not think and just act on instinct you know and go with your gut so anyways this yellow paper is so pretty the I don't think you can completely see the tones but you can see some green where that ink was on both sides. It's like a greenish, mossy kind of tone. It's beautiful. So now that their papers are ready and clean from all that chunkiness, then you bring a towel to your table. And for those of you who've 
been saying rip her table i'm so sorry for that desk or whatever this is a piece a big piece of wood that i stained and prepped so that i can use inks and paints and coffee and all sorts of things on top of it and i put that piece of wood on top of my dining room table because i live in a two bedroom apartment and we are five people living here plus a dog so i don't have a space for an art room or an art table or a desk or whatever you know my husband works from home too so he he has his desk in our room so just so you know use what you have if you have to work on the floor work on the floor i love working on the floor so anyways so now what you're doing here is putting your iron in a low setting so it's not too hot and put that chunky coffee towards the towel that you put down because it's going to melt kind of like a little bit sometimes not always depending on what kind of coffee you used and how hot you're um, ironing um, it's going to be in how long or whatever but sometimes it sticks to the towel so be careful with that after you've done one side make sure that the other side's fine and it doesn't have some extra coffee and you can actually go on top of it with the iron if the coffee load it's not too heavy so as you see here i'm just doing one of the sides and then the other side looks like it's got some coffee so i'm not going to touch it with my iron i don't want my iron to get ruined or um sticky and it's straight enough so that i can scan them or do whatever with them i think i'm going to be doing an art project with this like a big canvas um but I don't know yet, so I have so many ideas and so very little time. Sorry, I was just hydrating myself. This is how the papers look at the end. And I think they're amazing for how little we use and for how much fun I had making this video for you, making my papers for me. <laughs> And playing around I am also experimenting with some other new stuff um, I can't wait to show you that and share that with you but um it's also something that you have at home and well not all of us have one but you can get your hands to some and I'm having so much fun <laughs> it's like a little kid in Christmas look at the salt puddle there oh my god this is one of my favorite ones and this one with all the different um, colors and the yellows and the green tones is so pretty and this one is so delicate and minimal love it I think all of them are my favorite this one has a hole in the middle because one of the rice got stuck but it's beautiful what did they like um, look like to you what would you use these papers for? You can even use them to wrap some jewelry around or make some like little paper baggies for mini presents or um, anything for Valentine's Day or a gift for a birthday or maybe, I don't know, a card for somebody, a letter that you can send in the mail. There's so many, so many things you can do with this. Collage with it. I can see me cutting this in like shapes, I don't know, probably like a plant pot shape and then painting like, you know, plants coming out of them. So pretty. Anyways, I am going to um, leave you looking at my papers and see which one you like best and what part of the technique you love the most and how are you going to make them? Share with me. I Please do. I love to read the comments. I can't answer to all of them because um, it's only me, but um, I love to read through them and give you a little heart or a little like. So that leads me to please give it a like if you like my videos. It really helps my channel. If you know somebody who's going to love these papers or is going to have a crack at trying these techniques, share my video with them, you know, put a smile on their faces. And if anything, let me know in the comments below. As always, everything's going to be listed in the description and hopefully you'll have an amazing day. Yeah, 
just have fun making this. <laughs> that just makes me happy. Makes my heart sing. So have an amazing day again and thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.